And so we're going to look at five clips that will exemplify some of these life value terms and how we might try to transfer them. In this first example, we have a young child who has actually had to leave public school for a full year because of his behavior in school. Now, this is a child from hard places. He is quite dysregulated because of his history, prenatally and postnatally. So this is a vulnerable child. He appears to be a mischief maker. But if you understand what is behind this behavior, we can deal with these things very effectively. And that's where scripts can be of great benefit. You will hear some subtext that will become familiar over time as you go through these lessons. But a primary text will be listen and obey, and then listen and obey first time. Now notice that when we've talked about voice control, it's going to be important if we're going to use these scripts that they're given in a non-threatening way, but with a tone of authority that says, please listen to me. I'm here to help you succeed. So here is this youngster, John Nathaniel, playing in our sensory room and working on listening and obeying. That was a great read, a good job. Oh, we could stick together with the rope. Oh, we could stick together with the rope. Use our stick together rope. Let's see, is it tangled? You know, I think that was great sticking together. I think that might deserve a token. I think so too. John, John Nathaniel. John Nathaniel, hey buddy. John Nathaniel. John Nathaniel, you need to calm yourself. You're still not sticking together. John Nathaniel, you're still not sticking together, okay? John Nathaniel, you need to calm yourself. John Nathaniel, how do we regulate? How do we make our engine green, John Nathaniel? John Nathaniel, we don't hurt our friends. John Nathaniel. John Nathaniel. All right. Can you regulate yourself, or do I need to get Karen to help you regulate? John Nathaniel, can you regulate yourself, or does Miss Karen? Okay, I'm gonna give you one minute to regulate yourself. Let me see yourself regulate. That's good work. Good job, John Nathaniel. Just breathe one more time. Okay. Okay. Now, what happens? Let me see your eyes. Can you calm just calm yourself? What is he, What did you ask him to do? Well, we were. Whoa, John Nathaniel, we, come we here. John Nathaniel, whoa, stop. Stop. First time, obey. Come back here, please. Good obeying, first time. Oh, that was a good job, buddy. If you were to see this child's sensory profile, you would see that he is trying to, to, to seek sensory needs with all the spinning and rolling. And actually, the dysregulation is a, is, is a part of fragile brain chemistry and the sensory needs. But in this circumstance, there was subtext about helping him regulate. We used a number of artifacts that you have learned about and will continue to hear about, like breathing, trying to give me eyes, and so forth. But a primary script here, life value term was listen and obey. And then as he went up the slide, my voice was a little firmer. And I said, stop, obey, first time. And he was able to hear and process that information.